All right, I love showing you guys cool new blasters, or at least new to Amazon, new to me. Uh, this is the new Scar Gel Ball Blaster from VDD Toys. Been showing you a lot of their new blasters lately. They've been coming out with some higher performance, um, or at least by USA standards, definitely higher performance. And I'd say by any standards, higher performance gel ball blasters. And this one is really cool. So um, when I get a brand new one like this, I can't help myself, and I usually have to go and shoot it just to see how hard it shoots and fast it shoots. And uh, this is this is definitely the most powerful blaster you can get on Amazon by FPS. Uh, I'm going to put that in there as a little teaser, so you'll have to watch the whole video and, and see the FPS and demo at the end, um, but definitely the strongest, most powerful one. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we'll go ahead. We'll go over the contents of everything it comes with. I'll kind of put it together as I go. There are a few unique things when it comes to putting this together, not hard things, just unique. So I'll make sure to point those out. So everything you see here on the table comes with this one for VDD Toys. Uh, first off, obviously safety glasses. Make sure you wear some sort of eye protection, right? One pack of gel beads here. Now, hopefully, if you're getting a gel ball blaster like this, you know how to soak your gel balls properly. Um, because, like I said, this is a performance gel blaster. This does shoot hard. But if you don't, I have plenty of videos that go over exactly how to soak them. So watch those videos because if you don't soak your gel balls, your gel beads properly, you're not going to have a good working blaster. They must be seven, eight millimeters. And the nice thing is they can't get too big. So watch those videos, follow directions, easy to do. They do give you a little container, of course, to an, carry around extra gel balls if you want. So that's what that's for. And then the big drum magazine. So this is the same drum magazine as the Anstoy um, M4A1 that's for sale on Amazon. So this magazine um, and, and those M4 magazines are interchangeable. So if you do have an M4, uh, those magazines should fit in here just fine. All of mine did. All right. So obviously you've got your little door right here. Okay. Just fill that up. Motorized magazine, of course. All right. So make sure, guys, when you use this, uh, when you're done, just make sure to empty it. Make sure you even push the little feed to button. Get everything out of there. So by motorized magazine, that means we're going to draw power from here to run the motor in that magazine that's going to spin the wheel, fill up the feed tube, right? And this even comes equipped with the charging handle that allows you to prime the drum mag before you shoot so that it's all ready to go. And, of course, we actually will show that. We'll put that on. Battery for you. They uh, send it with a 1200 mAh 7.4 volt battery. It's the standard two plug connection we're used to seeing with this type of blaster. The white plug for charging comes with your USB charger. Just plug this into an AC adapter and charge and your two pin JST connection for the actual blaster itself. Accessory wise, you've got a couple. So these are mag plates for uh, traditional size magazines. So if you do have traditional size magazines, these will go on the bottom of those. Um, if you want to use those with these, they won't really function with the drum mag, but you know, they're just, they were in the package, I'm guessing. And so that's what those are for. So you can use those if you have other magazines. Now we got a couple things. You got an extension here. If you want to put the extension barrel on, this goes on. There's a couple notches that line up with the grooves and then you can push your safety orange tip on that. Or you can just go ahead and put the safety orange tip directly on here. So kind of whatever your preference is. I kind of like going with just the shorter version. So that's probably what I'll do, but that's what that looks like there. And then you've got your little flip up site if you want to use the flip up site. Or we can pop this off and just put your safety tip on there as well. Other accessory it's going to come with is a scope with a laser. Okay. And then that just is going to sit on your rail and screw on like you would expect it to. Okay. So spin that on there. All right. So not sure if this will happen with all of them, but with mine, the charging handle came separately. So this charging handle inserts here, right? And then you twist. Okay. And so this is what you're going to pull to prime the uh, magazine, right? That's what you're going to pull back to prime the charging magazine. You can see over here, slides open. Doesn't have any function necessarily that I know of. If it does, someone please tell me. Just molded in safety button over here. 
magazine release button here. Here's your actual safety and automatic here. Okay. Battery harness in the back. This piece does slide up and off. I think that's so that you, there are some different stock attachments that you can actually use or print for this one as well that I've seen online. And then we'll go ahead and talk about putting the stock on. So here's your stock, right? That's where your battery is going to go. Telescopes. This is the release that locks. So when you lock in place and you want to release and flip it around, that's that button there. So let's go ahead and put this on. Let's see if there's an easy way to do this on camera. Feed the harness through here. And then I find that it's easiest to kind of line it up and click it in. And then we'll put, comes with this one large screw bolt. That's going to, the pin just is going to drop right down here. So let me unscrew that here. And we'll just drop this pin right down here. It's lined up. There we go. And it should, it should line up relatively easy here. Push it all the way through. And then this can just be hand tightened. Um, actually, I've hand tightened it once previously, and I did have to grab a pliers to get it off. So if you're going to tighten it with a tool, just be careful. You don't want to over tighten it. It's a locking nut. It should stay on there good. Um, if you over tighten it, you'll crack the plastic, cause some problems, right? So this is where our battery is going to go. Of course, if you want to flip this open, and that can flip open like that, right? That catch is there to lock that in place, okay? So then you just kind of pull it down, and then you can lock it back in place. So it should just snap back in place if you, there we go. Battery, click together. Of course, this is another one where the battery compartment, you're going to kind of figure out the best way to use it and whether you've changed batteries or upgrade batteries, of course, it's up to you. you. Just kind of try to find a way to fit it in here nicely without. And you do kind of want that cord slack if you're going to flip it open, so you don't want to tuck it in too tight. All right, so there we go. And then you can see that it telescopes if you want to telescope it. All right, we're set. So we got it on, and then we got it in safety. So really, you just have automatic safety. Put that on, and if you want to charge it, you can hear that running. So that's very cool. To release, just push the release. Lots of rails for accessories. So definitely a very nice blaster. The SCAR from VDD Toys, and like I said as a teaser, it is the strongest FPS-wise blaster that I've uh, ever seen on Amazon, and actually that I have. And if you guys watch my channel, you know I have lots of blasters, and I have a fairly good amount of decent blasters. So check back for the demo with the FPS test. I'll post it separately, but I'll also attach it to the end of this video. Of course, please comment. Ask questions, like and subscribe, and participate in all the different giveaways. Thanks.